Good morning, Mary and Bethune. Today is October 30th, 2023, our morning meeting for today. And it's happy Halloween week. Tomorrow's yep. Halloween. Yeah. Are you excited? Yes. Awesome. Today's going to be an amazing day. Well, some days when you wake up, things just feel hard. We all have those days. Yep. But you've got to tell yourself, today's going to be an amazing day. Click this link now and watch this beautiful baby girl tell you how this day is going to be an amazing day. Let's pause now in five, four, three, two, one. And we're back. She is so adorable. And that's such a nice, happy message. Yeah. Great attitude. Every day is not going to be amazing. But it helps to start each day with the right attitude and ready to do your best. The school food review. It's now time for this week's food review created by Damari Colvin. Mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks. This week's food review is for a new item in the cafeteria. Mozzarella sticks. Marinara sauce. Cauliflower. Peaches. Choice of a fresh fruit and milk of choice. Do you know the marinara sauce is just a red spaghetti sauce without meat in it? Here's the review. Jaylian in first grade gave it a 10 out of 10 because she liked the cheese pull. Marcus in third grade gave it a 10 out of 10. The cheese was so good, everything was good. He said that he wants more. Rondale in third grade gave it a 10 out of 10. Everything was so good. Cherish in first grade gave it a 10 out of 10. She said the cheese and the mozzarella sticks were good, and it had a good cheese pull. Giovanni Hollis in seventh grade gave it a seven out of 10. The mozzarella sticks, he said, tasted funny. Jeremiah Martin in eighth grade gave it a six out of 10. He said the mozzarella sticks weren't hot and there was no cheese pull. Ivan Magby rated it a five out of 10. They were not hot and they were small. Mahadi in seventh grade gave them a six out of 10. They were too dry and the cheese was not melted. Rayla in fifth said 10 out of 10. They were warm and had good sauce. Nazir in fourth grade said five out of 10. They're okay and had so much cheese it was crunchy. Miss Bruce said eight out of 10. It could have been warmer. Lanaya Little gave it a 5 out of 10. It could have been better. The cheese needs to be melted more, she said. Hopefully next time it can be hot. Alante Mason in 8th grade rated the meal an 8 out of 10. It was good, but it was also cold. It could have been hotter and had a little more spice. I rated the mozzarella sticks an 8 out of 10. I thought they were pretty tasty. I even enjoyed the tomato sauce that came with them. And I usually don't like red sauce. It was also a small portion for growing children. I agree that the meal needs to be served very hot to be at its best. Great job, Damari. We can't wait to find out what is being reviewed next week. Cool holidays. Let's take a few minutes to learn about some different holidays that are being celebrated this week. Today is Monday, October 30th. It's Haunted Refrigerator Night. Wait, what night? Haunted Refrigerator Night. My refrigerator is definitely not haunted. This is the night you are supposed to tell ghost stories that are that are about fri refrigerators. Ooh, scary. Ghost stories about refrigerators. I've never told a ghost story about a refrigerator, and I've never heard one before. Have you? No. I bet I can come up with a good one. Let's try later. Tomorrow is Tuesday, October 31st. Obviously, Tuesday is Halloween, but it's also National Caramel Apple Day. Pick up one at the store or make it for yourself, but enjoy this delicious treat on this holiday. My favorite caramel apple has sprinkles on it. Do you have a favorite? Yeah. What kind? Chocolate. Chocolate. This Wednesday is November 1st. It's National Cook for Your Pets Day. This is the day you aren't supposed to just open a can 
of dog food, but you're actually supposed to cook a meal for them. Cook a meal for your pets? Yeah. I literally just opened up the can of cat food. But you know what I know? Mr. Ray that cooks for his dog. What do you think he makes them? I don't know. Hmm. Waffles. Waffles? Hot dog. You have to ask Mr. Rayback. This Thursday is November 2nd. In some countries, this is called the Day of the Dead. It's a celebration of family members that are departed, and it's usually celebrated by wearing skull masks and having a big party, sometimes in cemeteries. Would you like to participate in that? Yeah. This Friday is November 3rd. National Give Someone a Dollar Day. On this day, you're supposed to give someone one dollar. It can be someone you know or someone you don't, but you're supposed to do it out of kindness. What do you think? Would you give a dollar to, on Friday to someone? Yeah. Interesting. That's nice. Why would you do it? Because I'm nice. Sounds like a good reason. The news. Here's what else is happening at Bethune this week. PBIS contest. Hey, students. Have you heard about the new PBIS contest? All you have to do is get your parents to sign up to have access to your PBIS account. Anyone who does this will be entered into a raffle. Four parents will win $25, a $25 Amazon gift card, and four parents, I mean four students will win a $25 McDonald's gift card. The contest runs through November 21st. So all you have to do is take that paper home that you got on Monday and get your parents to sign up to your PBIS account. If they get access to your account, your name and your parents' name goes into a hat. On November 21st, we'll pull, pull out four winners from parents and four winners from students. Pretty easy. Music therapy. Miss Saul, Miss Hatcher, and Mrs. Jones classes are participating in an awesome program this year called Music Therapy. Every week, they get to sing, dance, and play instruments, including the tambourine. I love the tambourine. Way to go and have a ton of fun. I hope they invite me to play the tambourine. You think they will? Probably. <laughs> I would like that a lot. Sea tag for eighth grade. Did you know that every Monday our eighth grade males participate in a special program called Sea tag Closing the Achievement Gap? This program is to help motivate them to do their best in school. Keep up the great work, gentlemen. Play out square. We are so excited that on Tuesday our MD throughout AUT classes are going to on a field trip to Playhouse Square to see giraffes can't dance. We hope it's awesome. Hmm. Do you think giraffes can dance? Um, probably not, no. I think they'd look funny dancing with that big long neck. Yeah. Pre-K field trip. On Thursday, our pre-K students are off to Playhouse Square to see giraffes can't dance. It's a great book, so I'm sure it'll be an awesome show. Did, did that sound like a repeat? Yeah. That's because we have two different groups going on two different days to see Giraffes Can't Dance. We hope it's awesome. Shake your legs. On Thursday, our first grade is off on a field trip to Shaker Lakes Nature Center. Just warmly, we don't want you getting cold during your adventure. Metro Health Bus. The Metro Bus will be at Bethune this Friday holding appointments. If you have an appointment, a nurse will come to get you. Awards Assembly. Our first quarter awards assembly is being held this Friday, November 3rd at one o'clock. We are excited to honor our scholars who have earned awards. Get excited. Remember to invite your family to attend. October MVPs. The Glow Party is being held next Thursday, November 9th. Get excited and make sure you've earned enough points so that you can attend. November MVPs. The month of November begins this week, so beginning Wednesday, you are working for the November Incentive. The November party is movie and a treat. Get excited and start earning points. And if you have suggestions for the movie or the treat, see Miss Bruce or Miss Kazmer. Awareness. Awareness. Since November begins this week, we are beginning to study a new character trait, awareness. This week and throughout the whole month, we're going to be talking about what it means to be aware. 
Awareness. One way to think about awareness is to understand how your actions make other people feel. It's called being aware. Everything we do, good or bad, can cause how you make someone else feel. You should be aware of how your actions make other people feel. Pause. Let's take a minute to pause this meeting now and answer this question. What is one thing that you did that made you aware that someone was happy because of you? Pause the video now in five, four, three, two, one. And, and we're, we're back. back. So what's one thing that you did that you were aware made someone feel good? Uh, I told a person uh, someone was sad and I uh, made them feel better. Nice. The other day I went out to eat and I got one of my mom's favorite foods and I dropped it out at her house just to be nice. And she was so happy. Sometimes it's really easy to do nice things just to make people feel good. Shout outs. And now we'd like to shout out some special people at Bethune who have recently made our school an amazing place. Shout outs. Shout out to Ms. Jordan, who is working so hard with her students. Her students are learning how to respect others and are making visible growth. Ms. Pauls wants to shout out JoJo Stephen Stevens. Stevens and Bryce Thompson for walking in line with their peers. Ms. Pauls wants to shout out Ms. Saul and Ms. Sanders for their great teamwork in room 120. Ms. Pauls would like to shout, give a shout out to Ms. Jordan and her first grade class for always welcoming her into their classroom. Ms. Pauls gives a special shout out to Jamonte Thomas, Jordan Cochran, Aiden Harris Miller, and Isaiah Crittenden for having listening eyes and ears during our unique lessons. Also, good job, Kyler Foster Payne, for reading aloud. Way to go, Alante Mason, for volunteering and helping out a student in need. Emily Keys, you have had some great behavior lately, and we're proud of you. Maya Kelly, Mia, Mia Kelly, we like seeing how you care for others. Sean Murphy, you have a great sense of humor. We love how you always keep us laughing. Did you know anyone can submit a shout out? If you have a shout out, write it down or email it and give it to Ms. Dr. Nachini or me. And now it's time for our Halloween joke of the week. Ooh, it's our last Halloween joke of the week. Joke of the week. Why did the jack-o'-lantern fail out of school? Why is a jack-o'-lantern in school? But he yeah. failed? Because someone scooped his brains out. Get it? Like when you make a jack-o'-lantern, you have to scoop out the inside, his oh. brains? My oh, God. this was probably the best joke we ever told, right? Yep. Yeah. That's it for today. Stay tuned for next week's morning meeting. Challenge of the week. Have a safe Halloween Have a and have a fantastic week. It, this is Cronus. And Miss Nakanachini saying peace, peace out. out.